Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and today I'm going to talk about things that you need if you're going to live with no electricity for those of you that like to be off grid a little bit or with no electricity. I have some a few things that I'm going to show you that I actually had when I was growing up and I still use some of them now but um, what, what, what had happened is I'd listened to Egypt and Robber, they had, they were from contentment. They were um, visiting the Lehman store in Ohio, in Kindron, Kidron, Ohio, and um, she bought a, she bought a straw, corn straw broom. Boy, am I saying things so kind of screwy. But anyways, she bought one of those brooms. She did look at the whisk brooms, but they didn't buy a whisk broom. They brought a regular broom. I had one when I was growing up, but I, I can't find it now. I don't know what it probably would be worn to the to almost nothing. It's probably in the camper or some. I think it, there is a broom in the camper, but I don't know. Anyways, it's it's got very little very little bristles. Like this one's even worn. This one's worn pretty bad. But what I had mentioned in my comment is when we had these brooms the big brooms that you swept the floor with. If you don't watch it, the, the, the bristles will just go out and you'll have a fan instead of a broom. So what my mother used to do is she used to take either the sleeve of a t-shirt and slide it down so that it went around this part. Even though they've got it stitched, she reinforced it more so that the brim, bristles would stay nice. Or the top of an old sock, depending on on the size of your broom but she used to slide that over the handle down the handle and up onto these bristles so that it would hold them so so that when you swept they didn't fan out and get distorted and your brooms will last a whole lot longer now this was a whisk broom that we used when I was home so this is an old whisk broom it's got a lot of broken I can see the corn um, straw has been broken this is actually made out of corn and they sew bundles of it together and then they stitch around and and they wire it and it makes it a really nice broom these brooms last okay I also wanted to show you before I forget because last time I, I forgot until the end this is not a necessity this is something that I did because when my daughter saw the t-shirt that I got the other day she thought that it would make a beautiful artwork well guess what it does make a beautiful artwork I put it in the a frame and it's gorgeous now this is the daughter that likes to paint I'll show you I'll show you my paint first I'm not very artistic this is the painting I did now everybody that did this painting theirs looks so much better I think but these are a couple of pictures that she did I had more but she took them back home there's this one and then there's this one that I think this one's the best one of them all I like this this was she gave to her dad for Father's Day. But anyways, I wanted to show you that I did put the t-shirt in a picture frame. It makes a beautiful picture. Okay, back on to... That's a ringing of crazies. It's, it's, oh, is it my phone? Oh, it's my actual phone. Nobody ever calls me. Just, it's probably nothing. It's probably, it's, it's a crazy number. Somebody, I get a lot of telemarketers or things because I don't use the phone. But anyways, okay, now back to things that you'll need if you're going to live without electricity. Another thing that we used is you will need a laundry oh, rack. You want to, here, we'll loosen the camera so you can tip it. Is this the one that tips it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can tip it down. You need a laundry rack and as you can see this is one that I still use so because when you wash your clothes you're gonna have to put them somewhere to dry and in the deserts I'm sure that's a lot everything will dry quickly because the humidity will be way different than here but what you do is you, you a lot of them are they're made different than this one this is one of the ones that does not break down and fold down this is this is as is this is how it is and so you'll need one of these laundry racks and even if you're not off-grid you should have one of these they're perfect for doing hand wash or 
things that should never go into the dryer. Okay, now we'll go back to regular. Alright, and also, I don't know if they bought one or not, but if they or if they have one. You need one of these. They looked at these. This is what they looked like. Except theirs was brand new. The um dustpan. This was actually my dustpan when I grew up. It's huge. And it's got it's let me put this down. Okay. It's it's huge. It's a big dustpan. It's made out of a steel. But it's it, they're huge. Okay. My father, that one we used to use a lot. Then my father made a dustpan. Now I keep this one in my camper. This one is just made out of stainless steel. And of course they're dirty because why? They've been sweeping. They've been used for sweeping stuff. But this is the dustpan that my dad had made. And it's a little bit narrower than the one that came from the store. This is the one that came from the store. And this is the one he made. So see, he made it a little bit narrower. He didn't make it flare out as far. But it's still got a big bucket. Then he made a little or smaller one, but I don't know where that one is. Okay. Then, when we went to the store, I bought a dustpan years ago. And this is the dustpan I bought, which is okay. Then, years later, my mother bought a store a dustpan at the Dollar General, and she paid a dollar for it because the sticker's still on it. And it was one of these. These are horrible. You don't want anything like this. These that have this little rubber lip are crazy. And then it's got a bump in it, which is even dumber. You should not have that. It's crazy. And this one even, too, has a little, little, little bump in it. The ones that we had before, we did not have that. And the metal one doesn't have that. Okay. Now you're going to have to do wash after you've swept the floor. And you did the laundry. Well, you're going to do the laundry with the rack, too. You're going to need... A washboard. <laughs> this is a glass one. I kept the glass one. I like the glass one. I gave this the metal one to my sister, but I like the glass one. This one, you stick it into the bucket of water and you start scrubbing. And um, you could use like a galvanized pail or a regular pail, whatever pail you have. But usually it was a galvanized pail that they used or tub. You wash the clothes and then you'd hang the clothes on this after they were wrung out. So the one thing that you need, I think, that you would need that I don't have is one of those ringer washers um, tops, just the tops, because you stick the clothes in, turn the crank, and all the water would be squeezed out. Otherwise, you've got to wring it. And wringing it is not the easiest. So you're going to want one of those that you crank and let the, wa the water draw out of it. There might be one of those up in the antique stuff. There used to be. I know we got we got rid of the washers that my mom had that were ringer. And when I went when I was um when I was going to swimming lessons, when you would take off your bathing suit, and before you bring it home, we were able to put it through this. They had a portable one there. It was on a stand, and we used to put our bathing suit in it, turn the crank, and get all the water out of it, and then we could roll it up in our towel to take it home. Okay, now for lighting, you're going to need lights. This is an oil lamp. This is one of those cute little oil lamps. I do have bigger ones, but this one's a cute one for the house. But it's not going to give you a lot of light. And when we were visiting the Amish that lived in Springville, was yeah. that, or Springfield? Um, Where did they live? Sugar Grove? Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove. We were visiting some Amish. They invited me over three times. Well, they had lights in the house, but these, my Amish, compared to the Amish in Ohio, are poor. They're poor people. The Ohio ones are so rich. The ones here are very poor. Now, they probably have, now the ones that we had, had a paper, like a aluminum pie plate was placed behind here to reflect the light back into the room where I'm sure the richer ones probably have that little device that goes attaches to it and does the same thing, but it's a, it's, it's a nicer attachment. So those are the things that you're going to need if you want to go off and have no electricity. And so the broom 
and if you fix the bristles so that they won't fan out, she'll, your broom will last a whole lot longer. I, I use my whisk broom, believe it or not. I use the whisk broom and I use a dustpan with it. It works great for little pickup jobs. Or when we had the tent, we used to whisk it out it, because the broom handle is too big for the tent. So we used to use the whisk broom. Actually, the, the corn, corn bristle corn. brush or brooms last a lot longer, too. Corn broom brushes, yes, they do. Now, after the corn broom brush, my mother would buy the Stanley brush. And I have a Stanley brush, but they get funny, and you have to comb them with a comb, actual comb, to keep the bristles nice and straight because after a while they get, like, damaged and you're, like, frizzy hair. They do the same thing. But the corn broom... And the wisp brooms, they last a whole lot longer. They just wear down. After a while, the teeth are shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter because it wears down. And that's why you would replace it if you're going to replace it. And the broom handle, you don't want to throw that out because you might need that broom handle for your hoe or your rake because those handles could break. And then the broom handle fits into the, into the top of that and you could and you can make yourself a new tool or if you have a little hand hole maybe you want it maybe the handle broke on that or it's not a nice handle you take that handle out and put the broom handle a short broom handle in and you got a little hand hole or you can make it a long hole so you don't want to throw that away you'll be using it or maybe you'll have to burn it for heat I don't know depends on where you are so that's that's what I want to talk about today I hope you all had a great day I, can you tell I'm feeling better? <laughs> I am. Um, and I thank um, Echip and Robert for giving me the idea. When I saw their video, it brought memories of my own childhood back and things that we had because we were living very, very simple. We had electricity, but we were living simple. And the things that I have are things that we used. And... Um, I'm we'll sure you, use. and we still use, and I'm sure you will see how useful they are. So I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.